Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 1493, longest subarray of once after deleting one element. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given a nums array which has zeros and ones. So the goal of the problem is to find the longest subarray of ones after deleting one element here right we can delete any element either it can be one or zero right so in the given subarray which element is good to delete that is what we are going to find here so if i delete zero in the subarray we are going to have five ones in the subarray whereas if i try to delete one in the subarray we are going to have only four ones in the subarray right so what we are going to do here is that we are going to give a priority to delete 0 in this subarray, right, rather than 1. If I don't have 0 in the subarray, we will exclude 1. But if we have 0, we are going to delete a 0, right? So we are going to solve this problem using sliding window approach, right? So now we will see how we are going to do this. So here we are going to have left and right pointers, which will be pointing to the 0th index. Then we are going to have a variable number of zeros, which will be initialized as one. So here one represents that we need to delete a zero in the subarray, right? We need to delete that one zero in the subarray. So we are going to keep track of that here, right? So we are going to consider the first element as my subarray. So here our pointer is pointing to a zero, right? Here we have zero in the subarray. So when the R pointer is pointing to zero, we delete that zero by reducing one in my number of zeros, right? So here we are going to reduce it by one. So here we will be getting zero. So here the number of zeros to be deleted is zero, right? So which indicates that we have already deleted a zero in the subarray, right? That is what it represents here. If it is one, we can delete a zero in the subarray. If it is zero, we have already deleted a zero in the subarray. So since it is zero here, we have already deleted a zero. That is this zero, right? So now we will move our right pointer. So now this is our subarray. So here the R pointer is not pointing to a zero, but in the subarray, we have already deleted a zero. So it is a valid subarray, right? So this zero has been deleted in the previous iteration. That is why we reduced one here. So we just extend our subarray here. So now our pointer will point to this one. Again, in this subarray, we have deleted this one. So again, we have to expand our sliding window. So the R pointer will point to the third index. So again, in this subarray, we have deleted this zero. So we keep on expanding the window right so now the r pointer is pointing to a zero since the r pointer is pointing to a zero we need to reduce the number of zeros by one so here we are going to get negative one so now i will be writing another condition so when the number of zeros is negative which means we are trying to delete two zeros which is not valid right so we try to delete this zero but we have already deleted this zero right previously so it is not possible to delete two zeros at the same time so now we need to adjust this window right so since the left pointer is pointing to zero we have to increase the number of zeros by one so here we are going to get zero negative one plus one is going to be zero which means we have balanced the subarray now we will move our left pointer by one so the left pointer will point to the first index so now we have completely balanced the subarray by deleting this zero now right so we have deleted an element zero in this subarray since we have deleted an element previously we are excluding that and we are deleting the current to zero that is what we are trying to do here so now i will move our r pointer so here in this subarray, we have already deleted an zero. So we don't have to delete an element further. So then we have to again increase the window. In this subarray, 
again we have deleted this zero now again we need to expand our window so here the r pointer will point to zero again when the r pointer is pointing to zero we need to reduce the number of zeros by one so here the negative value in the number of zeros represent that we are trying to delete two zeros in the subarray so when this happens we need to check whether the left pointer is pointing to zero or not here it is not zero so we cannot balance the subarray right we just move our left pointer then we need to move our r pointer then we need to check whether this element is zero or not here it is not zero so we don't have to reduce the number of zeros by one then we need to check whether the subarray is balanced or not so if here in this subarray we have deleted two zeros which is not valid so we need to move our left pointer by one so now we have done with the input array now we need to take a difference between the r pointer index and the left pointer index so here 8 minus 3 is going to be 5 so 5 will be the longest subarray of ones after deleting one element right so the time complexity will be order of n and space will be constant space that's all the logicus now we will see the code before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in the future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially, the number of zeros will be 1 and the left pointer will point to 0th index. Then in the for loop, we will move our right pointer. So initially, if the right pointer is pointing to 0, so we are going to get 1 as my boolean value and I will reduce that 1 in the number of zeros. Then we need to check if the number of zeros is less than zero or not. That is, if it is negative, we need to adjust the subarray, right? And we need to update the number of zeros. If the left pointer is pointing to zero, then we need to update the number of zeros. If the left pointer is pointing to a zero element, we need to increase the number of zeros by one. Then we need to move our left pointer to adjust the subarray, right? Then finally, we need to return the difference between the right and left pointer. That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.